Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R740 XD server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on how to update your BIOS. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R740 XD server. Do us a favor, if anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video will be specifically dedicated to how to update the BIOS on your server, but the way that we're gonna do it isn't the way that I would actually recommend. In two videos from now, we're gonna do the mass updates video, and that's gonna show you how to update the BIOS, the firmware, the onboard diagnostics, your NIC card, plus a ton of other stuff in there, and it's gonna show you step-by-step -step instructions on really how to keep your whole system up to date, and that's how I would recommend updating your BIOS. But what we're gonna show you is if you don't have an OS, you're in a pinch, and you just need to get get an, a server tested and updated. What we're gonna do here is uh, get a USB drive. We're gonna download an EFI file, which we will put in the description section, a link that you can click on. And that EFI file will uh, basically just go to your USB, we'll pop it into the back to be able to install the latest BIOS update onto your server. And we're gonna show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that right now. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to update your BIOS. So this is gonna be a pretty easy, simple set of instructions. We're gonna start out by downloading an EFI file from Dell's website. We're gonna put this EFI file on a USB drive. Then we're gonna move that USB drive and plug that into the server. And then from there, we can access the EFI file from the boot manager and run our BIOS update. So let's go ahead and get started is we want to go to Dell's website and on Dell's website we want to go to support and then support home and then where it says identify your product you want to go ahead and type in the name of our server once we've selected that we want to go over to the drivers and downloads tab and then here we want to set the operating system as not applicable and then now we want to change the category to BIOS as you can see, there's one option left here. So we're gonna click this drop down, and then we're gonna to go to other formats. Now we wanna click the download button that is across from EFI, and this is going to download the EFI file. So it's a pretty quick download. Once it's done downloading, we want to go ahead and go to our file explorer, and we wanna find where our file downloaded to, and then we wanna drag it over to our USB drive on the left-hand side. And once we do that, that's gonna copy the file in there, so we are all good to go to move this USB drive to our server, and then we can begin the BIOS up. So now that we've downloaded the BIOS EFI file from Dell's website, and we've moved it to a USB drive, you wanna go ahead and plug that USB drive into your server, and then go ahead and power on your server, and during post, you wanna press F, 11 and this is going to take us into the boot manager so once in boot manager scroll down to system utilities and then you want to go down to bios update file explorer in here which displays our usb drive so we want to do that and then we want to select our efi file so once we've selected the file name it'll give us this black screen here so we just want to wait a couple of seconds and then it'll pull up this screen. So we just wanna click continue BIOS update. And at the very top, it'll show your current BIOS version as well as the version that we are upgrading to. So like I said, just click continue BIOS update and then it'll give a second to load. So this part may take a little bit of time. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward but basically our system is going to reboot into that BIOS update. And once we get to this screen right here, it'll say updating BIOS, and then it'll show the version that you're upgrading from, and then to the version that you're upgrading to. Um, and this part, you know, it'll, it'll take a little bit of time. So we're just gonna fast forward through this as well um, while our BIOS updates. So once that is done, our system's gonna reboot again and we have successfully updated the BIOS. So if you found this video useful, go ahead and leave a like and smash the subscribe. And if you're interested in any Dell, Supermicro, HP servers, or even some custom AMD Ryzen servers, AMD Epics, Intel Scalables, go ahead and email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com.